to see pastors. It's a, it's a madness. We went to a country, I'm not going to mention the country, remember? The nation we went to. Man, you have no idea what we heard. And I'm like, Jesus, how did these people preach? And that's why they don't like me. But I don't care. It's crazy. So you know what the Bible says? He said, we know God heareth not the prayer of what? Sinners. That's the first thing, number one. If you must experience breaking news, run from sin. Run! Run, sir! There's no other name for sin. Sin is sin. Sin is sin. It has become a norm. If, see, my return ticket to, to Nigeria is, is ready. Secured, so I'm going to talk to you. You don't get pregnant for a man that's not your husband. And you say you're under grace. You are stupid. You don't go sleeping with a pastor because he tells you he's anointed. What kind of anointing do you transfer through sex? What's going on? A prophet, you are living in sin, you are a puppet. And we have a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem. People leave the church and they go to Sangoma. Even some people who are on the pulpit visit the Sangoma. When you see a pastor who can no more have confidence to preach against sin in front of his congregation, he has done some things with them. When he begins to mess himself up with the members, he loses confidence to confront iniquity. He wants to speak against immorality and somebody from the protocol looks at him. Someone from the choir, the usher department, the media, or whatever, just say, Pastor. There was something I couldn't preach for a long time because I had a weakness in that area. I couldn't preach patience. Because I didn't have patience. So when I'm preaching and I say revelation on patience, I just talk about it in the hurry. <laughs> I say there are fruit, number one. I say number two, patience. Patience, patience is important. Number three. <laughs> because why am I going to preach what I'm not doing? I, I, I want to do everything now, now, now. And my wife is totally different. She is detailed. My wife can count sell one person for four hours i get angry what is she saying that she can't stop saying give me four hours i'll talk to one thousand people one on one when you come you say i see in the spirit this 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 you are free go number two i see we are done my wife you will talk you will cry she will give you a handkerchief you will clean your tears she will say continue for what for what She's too motherly. She's annoyingly motherly. She will say, okay. I'll come back. Say, you are still with this person. Man of God. <laughs> she will say, man of God, don't worry. And God said to me, that is why I connected you. Now, sir, I'm patient. Oh, oh my pastors, some things will happen. And they'll say, is Papa aware? They say, yes. What did he say? He said, nothing. Ah, the man has changed. I learned patience. Oh. Jesus learned obedience through the things he suffered. I went through things that taught me patience. I saw shakings that taught me how to be calm. I was never calm. You hit me, I hit you. Nigeria will call it, do me, I do you. God know the verse. You hit me, I hit you. You hit me, I hit you. But God taught me. First John chapter 3 verse 1 to verse 8 
he said behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god beloved now are we the sons of god it does not yet appear what we shall be for we know when it shall appear we shall be like him for whosoever has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure he that sin transgressed the law for sin is a transgressor of the law for we know that this is why he was raised that he might destroy sin the six says whosoever abideth in him sinneth not for whosoever sinneth has not seen him neither does he know him the seven said little children let no man deceive you for he that committed sin is of the devil for the devil sinned from the beginning verse 8 says for this purpose the son of god was made manifest that he might destroy the works sir anywhere there is sin there is sickness it might not be bodily sickness it might be financial sickness you just suddenly get stranded because sin is the gate man sickness is the worker that is why anytime there's remedy for sin there's remedy for sickness who forgive thy iniquity and he led thy disease you see that bruise for transgression the chastisement of our peace was upon him by his stripes remedy for sin remedy for sickness the reason you may be stranded today is that you began to tolerate what you should not accommodate so the reactions so, uh, uh, let me say something let me say something hmm. hey. Hey. can I get a glass is there, is there more with a glass of a glass is there any glass maybe water and a glass is there is there anyone who has a glass drinking glass a cup or something is there anyone with a cup anybody with a cup okay no if you, if you don't have it's okay it's okay if you, don't, if you don't have one it's fine if you don't have one it's fine but if you if you can get one you bring it there is something about sin that you need to know it's not the day you write an exam that you get the result right every student coming out of an exam hall assumes he is successful <laughs> until the results are released when the results are released everybody finds his level every one of us me you everyone has a nature to sin but align the oh you, you don't know that align the word of god control your thinking control your decision is what keeps you in line everyone has the tendency to steal i didn't want to be a pastor i want to be a politician me ah my father was a politician i wanted to be me i made up my mind that in this country nigeria we will steal money <laughs> me i say constituency project I said, my God, I will. I wanted to be a politician. Bring that cup for me. Bring the glass. Open it, Pastor Alex. Okay, hold the cup. Hold the cup. When you lie, you lie, right? When you steal. sin right immorality sin are you following me greed very soon your cups become full and when your cup is full that is when judgment comes now somebody else is living in sin and everything still appears normal to him wait it's because his cup is not yet full the problem is that the sizes of our cups are different someone can be committing sin and be on the pulpit wait his cup is so full someone can be in a department and live in any kind of like wait the cup will soon fall. 
until you turn to God is not your turn for power the worst thing that can happen to a man is for him to be living in sin and still be seeing results the greatest deception is self-deception many of you in your room have to do an altar call for yourself that you alone should answer you need to be in your room and announce who wants to surrender to Christ and you will respond I and you will say to yourself if you are the one come out yes I'm the one you come out you will say to yourself say after me my father you will repeat my father you have to do an altar call the prodigal son did an altar call for himself I will go to my father when he came to himself I will go to my father he said I know I know I know he has many servants than a lama against you what people lack is brokenness why can't I say sorry to my wife if I offend her you are not broken when you are broken you become a role model to your wife I don't mean puppet model role model privately you can't say you are sorry the pastor gets you know rebukes you you walk out of church a pastor rebukes you in our church when I discipline people they send me SMS to thank me I say you if I see you again near the choir in fact if I see you around the area I don't want to see oh I, I'm, I'm, I'm a tough person I'm very loving but very tough I said I don't want to see anything that looks like you near the choir your twin brother your Siamese twin your when I get back I say Papa thank you for the rebuke I know you are helping me to grow and somebody else in another place is suspended or disciplined and walks away from church it's actually God is everywhere sir God is everywhere but the percentage matters there are places you walk out from you have walked away from grace it's not every man you submit your head to it's not every man you call your father Fatherhood is based on the standard of God's word. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. The day is not following Christ. Don't follow him. Go. John 5, 14. He said, go. John 5, 14. See no more, lest a worse thing. You don't like this message. Have you seen what's happening now everywhere people are sleeping with themselves it's so easy people will come to church church that is supposed to be the place of refuge they'll come in just say, sir that's all oh. that's all you have no value for yourself all it took to take you to bed was a wink Damn. That's all. There's no what, no value. <laughs> I was preaching in Bremen. Bremen is in Germany. It was crazy. It was cold, freezing cold. I finished preaching. I took my Bible. There are some things the anointing doesn't handle. You know that? Some things the anointing doesn't handle. So I was shaking inside the cold waiting for the guy to go turn the car and come pick me in Bremen a white lady runs out and said oh my god this service I've never been in something like this before I said thank God thank God thank God she said can I carry your baby I said my Bible I'm fine I'm fine I said no baby I said baby baby what is baby he said I mean we could just have something ah the cold left took off the guy was 
driving and following me. He said, Apostle, 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 I started running.